Hey guys, it's Val here and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a how I grew out my eyebrows kind of video and yeah, I've been kind of bombarded recently to kind of do a video or share my secrets if you will because if you guys know me or follow me on Instagram or see my old videos, you know my eyebrows were really, really thin and it was painfully thin probably back in high school and all through that little story my eyebrows are naturally thick and nice but when I got them done the second time I've ever done my eyebrows the lady completely didn't listen to me and she just waxed them and it was to the point where they were painfully thin and it gave me a complex but I tried not to let it get to me up until probably two or three years ago they were a little more fuller than the painfully thinness, but still way too thin for me, especially because I have a round kind of face, so it just kind of looked... Fast forward to this year, I wanted to grow them out, so I was trying everything. Like, they weren't, they still weren't painfully thin, like, I would let them, like, instead of doing them every two weeks, I would do them every month. So they were thin, but they were growing and they looked nice. For me, I don't know how to fill in my eyebrows. So I can't sit here and tell you, oh, you can just... I mean, for me, I didn't know how to, so I still don't. So it was really, really hard to just let it go for like a month without doing them. But seeing the results, they were like more thicker here. They still were thin here, but they were thick here. And I really liked it and it gave me a shape. And fast forward to about a month, I would say a month ago, I went to do my eyebrows at the place I go, I've gone for years. And ladies know that I've been trying to grow out my eyebrows, so they understood. But when I went, None of the ladies were there and I really, really had to get them done because I was going to a place the next day and, you know, I wasn't going to go with crazy eyebrows. So I told the lady, just clean it, just do this and a little bit here and that's that. She completely ignored me and took everything off. And I, I'm not every, all my hard work, my months of hard work, she ruined in like five seconds. And I was so upset that I haven't gone back. I haven't gone back because, like I said, I wanted my eyebrows to grow. And she really made that process extremely hard for me. So I had to start all over again. So I'm going to show you the before and after pictures throughout the years, I guess. So I'll show you, like, a couple of years ago, a year ago to now. Or even in January, my eyebrows were thin. And you can see how, like, they had no shape. This is after two weeks of doing what I'm going to show you what I used. And this is what worked for me. And I'm pretty sure it can work for you. For me, I use this because I know my, like... My eyebrows are like a Chia Pet. Let's just, let's be real. My eyebrows grow really, really fast. And, but they still end up being in the awkward position. This is where I take you to lesson or slash tip number one is you have to have patience when growing out your eyebrows. Trust me, itching to do them. And even my mom, she's given me that complex where, oh my God, you have to do your eyebrows. And when some someone says that, just ignore them because... So what if you have a couple of hair, sparse little hairs growing or whatever? Just leave it alone. Just don't touch them at all. If there's hair here that you know you need to like get rid of, just pluck them. For me, it's painful to pluck. I just took like a little razor for here and there, and I know it's not good to use a razor either. But like I said, I'm not waxing them. I'm not. I haven't done them in a month, and they look like this. So I'm just gonna show you what I use. So. Before I started using the product I'm going to show you next, I was using Elizabeth Arden 8-Hour Cream. This is a multi-purpose use kind of cream. I don't use it for my hands because it's oily. I use it for my lips and I use it for my eyebrows. And it helps like keep them like formed and shaped. So it's kind of like a paste to your eyebrows. And I really liked it. And I used it for like a week before I got the other thing in the mail, which is castor oil 
castor oil and I got the cold press one okay I'm just gonna go on a little thing right here I watched a lot of videos on it and a lot of girls were like oh my god castor oil doesn't work it works when you use cold press most of these girls weren't using cold press and it was driving me crazy because it's like I see all these other girls with nice eyebrows who use cold press and then you see the girls with just oh I use castor oil make sure you use cold press and I'll leave the link where I got this I got it off of eBay for like three or four dollars and it's pretty big and I've used quite a bit and it's still up here I see like girls recommending to use like the little brushes you can get at Sephora I bought this on eBay because there's no Sephora near me I got this for a dollar it helps comb your brows out, but to be honest, I would rather feel where I'm getting, like, the oil because I don't want to break out. I have acne-prone skin. So, I use this for two weeks, two weeks straight, and my eyebrows have grown. And I will show you the before and after at how this is. I'm Like I said, I don't fill in my eyebrows, so this is just natural. So, I'm pretty impressed that two weeks I mean yeah it had that like awkward one week where it was just hair here and I was like oh my god where am I gonna go but I mean if you just don't care just put some concealer underneath it or wear some big sunglasses and nobody's gonna see and trust me it helps it helps your confidence it helps so much and it makes me feel so happy I feel like a whole different person from before when my eyebrows are painfully thin so now they're like fuller and thicker and I will show you guys, like, you know, throughout the pictures, you can see my 8th grade graduation picture where my eyebrows were pretty, like, nicely. It was the first time I've ever done them, and they were nice. And then to afterwards, how they were so thin throughout my whole high school years, even up to recently. So, yeah, I can't stress this enough. Just use this castor oil. Cold press, remember cold press, and if you have, if you don't have this, you can start off with this in the meantime, and it will, this takes a little more time, but it just helps, you know, the process. I don't take any, like, hair vitamins or anything like that, so I've just been living off of this, and it's perfect. I use it every night, and I just put here, especially here because I want that thick, and then here works wonders. I can't stress it enough. So, yeah, there goes my little eyebrow story. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if I missed anything down below. If you want to know, just let me know in the comments, and I will happily help you out. And, yeah, see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.